also praying that uh, we're facing a time that it will be very much difficult for all of us. The time that is coming, it won't be nice. But I want to tell you this thing. Uh, I heard uh, that you were speaking about the prophecy of the 31st. Um, I, I was praying, and when I was praying, God showed me that the plan of Satan is finished. Amen. And now, what will happen now is the last kick of a dying horse. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm saying, you must, you must, you must hold that to your mind. Bear it in your mind. Amen. I'm saying, what will happen now? Is the last kick of what? Yes. A dying horse. From there, I believe it's also there on, uh, on, on Facebook there. From there, freedom is coming to you. Amen. I'm sure I'm giving you a prophecy. Uh, is it a prophecy? <laughs> I'm saying, before I, I prophesy and pray for you, what will happen now is something that will be the last. And from there, you'll hear them say, let's finish the pandemic. Let's finish it. That's what will happen. And I'm telling you, you see where I'm standing? I've been telling you like this. Huh? Huh? I've been telling you like this, and everything that has been said here, God has done it. So now, even this one, allow me to tell you what will happen now. You see now they are talking about what, what that is coming. Huh? The third what what? Mm. So now, they will try to kick for the last time. God has allowed it. <laughs> but from there, ah! I see you free in the name of Jesus. Because if the plan is not working, Satan must leave you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm saying if your plan of Satan is not working, he must leave you in the name of Jesus. Yes. I mean, they tried to close churches. They failed. Huh? Now, they say, let, let, let me ask you one question before I start praying for you. How do they know that there's a third wave that is coming? Huh? Hmm? How do they know? Ask your neighbor, say, how do they know? You see now that's speaking about the third wave. Before December comes, you'll be free. I'm saying before December come, you must be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You want to be free? Amen. Do you want to be free? Amen. You must worship God when you are feeling free. Amen. Oh, you know me? Amen. Most of you, let me tell you this, this thing has done a serious damage. Many of you now, you are failing to pray now. Huh? I'm telling you. Because you're focusing on the job that you're losing. And here in your mind, I say, ah, how will I pray when there's problems like this? Let me tell you people, God has heard your cry. Amen. And freedom is coming to you. Amen. I don't normally love to talk about this corona thing, corona, th no, 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 I don't want to talk about that. Because I saw God being faithful on this time. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So now allow me to pray for you. And I believe God will help you. Amen. You Christians, can you pray? Can you pray? Amen. Huh? Amen. Tell me, can, can you stop sinning? And pray? Amen. Huh? Amen. Tell your neighbor again. Say, stop sinning. Can you stop sinning? Tell your neighbor, say, if you're not married, don't, don't act like a married person. Tell your neighbor again. 
Tell your neighbor again. <clears throat> Tell them for the last time. Because now you are failing to receive from God now. You know, the sin that has overshadowed you is like it has taken over your life. When you speak, is sin. You know, when you walk, is sin. Everything about your life is sin. Oh, you hear me? This is the right time you position yourself. You seek God more. Amen. Huh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. I'm saying this is the time to do what? Yes. You position yourself. You seek God more. Amen. Because you don't know what will happen. I mean, everything that the Bible has prophesied, they have happened. Huh? This might be our last minute. It's possible. That from now on, Jesus can come back. Oh, you know what I mean? I mean, the Bible spoke about the attacks of Israel. Huh? Is it not happening? Huh? Hey. I'm afraid now. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that whatever that has been prophesied, boom, they're starting to happen one by one. One by one. The issue is we don't know time. That's the main problem. We don't know time. So from today, live right. You stop sinning. You know, there are so many things that you need to stop. You stop lying. You stop. You just stop. Are you hearing me? You must allow your soul, your spirit to be ready for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? 